So our next question is, how do I write the best application essay? What impression am I supposed to make? Am I supposed to let myself shine through the essay or do I just write it? So this is a really important question to ask yourself. As Tyler mentioned earlier, I think a lot of your application is kind of when you get to your senior year, it's kind of set up already. You've chosen your extracurriculars, you've chosen the classes you've enrolled in. So in a lot of ways, your essay is a really great opportunity to craft the message that you want to tell a school. I know when I was an admission counselor, I really enjoyed getting to know prospective students through their essays um, in the way that they wanted to present themselves. And I think a lot of times there's a conception that there's a certain format you should follow for your essay. It should be really dramatic. It should be really funny. And um, I think admission counselors can pick up on that when you kind of force your essay into a format that's not really you. One of the most important things you can remember is, um, you know, through your whole college admission process is to apply to schools and, um, you know, to be just truly true to who you are throughout the whole process. One of my favorite application essays I read as an admission counselor was entitled, I Am Scooby-Doo. And a guy had actually written his essay, the first few paragraphs were about being in character as Scooby-Doo and what he learned from that experience and how it brought him back to his childhood. And it started off and I was reading it and reading about how this guy was Scooby-Doo. And at first I kind of thought, I don't really know how to take this. Where are you going with this? But he ended up kind of wrapping it up, talking about he was Scooby-Doo in a school play. And that was something he had really worked toward. And a childhood dream was to be in the school play. And um, it was really funny and really memorable. And it was, I, as an admission counselor, I could tell that it was funny. It was also really well written, well structured. Um, so it was true to who he is. And I think that's the most important thing you can do um, in an admission essay. And I think the other piece to keep in mind is to write for a voice that makes sense for the school you're applying to. Um, so you might not write the same essay um, for two totally different size schools or um, you know, if you're looking at two different types of programs. I think as much as you can tailor your essay in a way that makes sense for the school you're applying to, for the type of program you're applying to, that'll really help your essay stand out. Um, that was great. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think I, t I totally agree with Rachel about um, being aware of the audience that you're writing to, you know, which school, um, what, what drives them, what is their mission, and kind of, I mean, still be yourself um, and still let yourself shine, but just, you know, choosing your wording and kind of the approach a little differently. Um, like, for example, my, for my undergrad, um, the first school that I went to was James Madison University. And they're very liberal, liberal arts, and they're very like community driven, and they're really about like supporting each other, and they're just, I don't know, like it's a really good community. So I, my essay was very about like a very difficult experience that I went through, and how I kind of like triumphed it through it and became a better person. Whereas the um, the admissions uh, essay that I just wrote for Johns Hopkins, they're um, more like a research. Um, technical university and they, they still have a great liberal, liberal arts program but it's not as GMUE so I made sure that my essay was more like um, this is the science of why I want to get my master's basically um, but it was still creative but not as like um, like tear jerker you know <laughs> um, but yeah and also it, this is, am I supposed to let myself shine through the essay or do I just write it? And I just want to address that. I think that you should do both. <laughs> um, I think that you should just write it. Mm -hmm. um, but also I think always shine and through your essay and be yourself because the application, all the applications that admission op, admissions officer look at look the same. So it's, you know, names and, you know, where you went to school, your GPA and all that stuff. And then you're your admissions essay is that one chance to stand out and like voice, mm -hmm. you know, this is what sets me apart from all the other applicants. So I think that you should definitely um, take that opportunity because that is a huge, that it could be a huge advantage to you. Yeah. I know a lot of people like myself who, you know, I didn't have the GPA to get into certain schools, but I think my essay was like the little push that was like, Look, I know that like my I'm not a 4.0 compared to other people, but I do have a story and I do have a lot of potential from 
you know, because of where I come from. Um, so I think just take advantage and shine like the sun. Um, <laughs> I think and Kara did mention the Common App, which is a really great resource if you're planning to apply to a lot of different schools. But if you do write a Common App essay, I think definitely take advantage of if there's an opportunity to do maybe a supplemental essay for a specific school, that really gives you the opportunity to tailor what you're saying in a way that makes sense for the school. Like Molly was saying, it's important to recognize what that school might be looking for and whatever you do, don't name another school in your supplemental essay to another school because that definitely happened when I was (laughs) too bad. And you know, everybody likes to read about themselves and that's true for admission counselors too. They want to see applicants who have done their homework about a school and um, have researched and started their application for a reason. So the more you can express your knowledge about the school, you know, through the topic you choose to write about, and then also maybe even specific references to that school um, will really stand out to admissions. I think I did that. Another bad. Oh, <laughs> and I think that was the quickest rejection I ever got. Yeah. Well, that was yeah. a thin letter. Um, but I, I think I realized it after I submitted it. And uh, so, yeah, don't do that. I wrote different essays for each of them. Like, I think the supplemental supplemental essays I had were like three or four paragraphs. So I was like, I can just write a different one for everyone. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna type safe. it into the thing. Like, it'll yeah. be fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I, I didn't reuse them because I was so. I knew I would do that yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, I did it. I mean, so just be careful because yeah. I didn't. I did like I was reading it so much that I yeah. didn't even you know like pick it up yeah. anymore because I was just like you know so used to looking at it. Yeah. So. If you're going to do that, if you're going to reuse a supplemental essay, what I'd recommend is at the end, like, if you know if you're going to use X university and then you say, oh, this will fit for Y university, too. Do the control F and look for X university. Yes. Because then you'll, it will bring up all the instances and you can just swap it out for Y university. Technology is great, guys. That's even uh, proofreading. Do that. It's key. Very important. <laughs> so... Yeah, take time to go through it meticulously and yeah. make sure you don't have any of those issues. Mm-hmm. Also, give it to somebody else. Have somebody else read through it. Read it out loud. Yep. Mm-hmm. Everything helps. No matter how many times you've gone over it, you're, you're going to find something. Sometimes somewhere. that's the worst thing, too, is just going over it constantly because then you're like, this isn't works. I don't, I don't think any part of this is a sentence. It yeah. becomes that point where you're looking at a word. Is that how you spell it? And it is, yeah. but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> like, how about your mother? Or they're like, bull, bull, bull. That's it. <laughs> that's it, yeah. <laughs> but a exactly. whole essay worth. Yeah. And that's when it's a really good opportunity to take advantages of the re- advantage of the resources you already have. Mm-hmm. You have an English teacher. You have friends who are also applying to college. I think the more eyes you can get on your essay, the better to make sure it's reflecting who you really are as an applicant. Even, you know, reach out to your admission counselor at the schools that you're really interested in. Um, Ask them for feedback before you submit your essay. And that really demonstrates another level of interest in that school and then seriousness about your application, so. Going off of that, two things. First, choose your friends wisely. Because if you, if you're, I mean, we've all done peer editing in class. And some people hand you back the paper and they say, this is good. And they don't give you any constructive criticism. Don't go to those people. Go to the person who will send it back to you and say, here's all this, like, here's some good stuff. But here are the things you missed. Here's where you can make it better. Clever Um, Carter. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my boss is fantastic at her job. She's like literally anything, and I'm like, can you just, just make it better? <laughs> um, so yeah, so go to the the Claire Carter of your class because <laughs> they're gonna be fantastic. Um, and then second, don't write your essay like you're writing a school essay. That is not the format you want for this because you don't want like. And therefore, this is how thus I became such as I am. That's so boring. Um, like, it, unless you're like, it's a, like character you're putting in, like I am Sherlock Holmes or something like that. Um, you, it, it, no one wants to read a school essay, <laughs> except teachers who have to assign them. Um, so you want to, like Rachel was saying, like 
work for the audience. Um, the audience wants to hear more of a narrative thing. Tell them a story. Tell the admission, tell the admission counselor a story um, in your essay. Don't just skew, skew out facts like you would in the standard five paragraph essay that I hate so much um, for other reasons that don't, we don't need to get into. But like, just put yourself in there um, and write it, but don't do it. Don't expect it to be like, this is for a grade. Like, I need to get an A in my English class and analyze my life or anything like that. Just, just tell a story. Be yourself. And uh, just to close things off, to answer the prompt, don't go off thinking that you wrote the best thing ever. It could be the best thing ever, but yeah, if you didn't answer the, the prompt, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a huge issue. So, closing statement there. Yeah. <laughs>